Hello and welcome to Total Network Inventory Tutorials and Examples. In this video, we're going to discuss the workspace. As you can see, the program has three main working areas. The first area is a network tree. It displays all the devices and groups that were added to the storage manually or during scanning or synchronization with Active Directory. In the middle, there's a primary working area, the functions of which depend on the working mode you choose. The third area is a sidebar. It's always linked to the active working mode and contains corresponding control elements. Use the tabs above the primary area to navigate through different working modes. The scanner mode contains all the tools you will need to set up scanning tasks. You'll be able to view scan progress and results here. In the Viewer and Reports tab, you can quickly browse information collected during the scanning process. It will be updated and available as soon as the scan is over. The information about the software and hardware is divided into categories. You can quickly print any report. Use instant search and filtering if you need to find something in particular. In the Table Reports tab, you can view the collected details in tabular format, which is more convenient for analysis. Report Templates Constructor is available on the side panel. You can use this powerful and flexible tool to build any kind of user report. Save your custom templates to the sidebar if you plan to build them regularly. All the reports that you have created can be filtered, exported to popular formats or printed on the go. The Software Accounting mode allows you to view the software that has been discovered on Windows and Mac devices in your network. This tool is highly demanded for modern inventory process due to its ability of tracking, filtration and output of information concerning the software installed in all computers. The Licenses tab is available for the owners of the professional version of the program. Here you can find the tools for managing, filtering, tracking and storing license keys. This mode will help you to track upcoming events of license expiry and to calculate the number of available activation attempts. If you want to track changes in the hardware or software of the computers in your network, you can use the Change Log. This mode will give you a clear overview of all the events that have occurred between the scanning operations. Use the filter by date and other parameters to focus on relevant events. You can use the Network Map tab to create network infrastructure diagrams of any scale. You'll be able to visualize the location of network nodes and how they're interconnected. You can carry out basic operations with devices directly on the map using the context menu. This mode is also only available in the professional version of Total Network Inventory. The final tab hosts various additional functionality and useful tools that will help you manage the database. For example, the Users section shows and lets you edit the accounts of all local and domain users. In common fields, you can add extra information that cannot be obtained automatically during scanning. You can also use common fields to leave comments and memos regarding your devices. In the bottom left corner, you'll find the status bar. It shows the number of devices that have already been scanned or failed to be scanned and the number of custom devices. The last indicator will let you know how many devices can be still added to the storage under your license. If you're interested in more detailed information on the workspace, please consult our online documentation. Thank you for watching.